What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today and talking about a little bit more mostly about that mask that was shown in the footage that we got at CinemaCon or that they got, those in attendance got at CinemaCon this past week during the Universal Blumhouse panel where they showed the first trailer for the film to get everybody hyped up. So of course the mask was eventually shown and from what it sounds like, this is just from someone on Twitter collecting what people who are in attendance have been saying. So we actually won't know how correct all of this is or if our interpretation of it will be the same until we see the footage for ourselves when they release the footage online for the public to see. But shout out to you, Iron Wolf net underscore and i'll leave a link to your uh, twitter in the description and to the actual thread where this is all just coming from but again the mask apparently because i touched on this a little bit in my last video it says that the mask apparently is not going to be entirely new it's just the burnt halloween kills mask with some blood stains on it from where he killed karen at the end of the film and someone just replied I guess this was a quote tweet to someone who was in attendance replying that it looked like the mask he had at the end of Halloween Kills. Someone else chimed in and said it looks more dirty. There's blood stains or the blood stains were old. It almost look, looked like moldy stains. The hair was aged well too. So going off of that, so far what I've heard also is that it's again just a collection of things that I've been seeing online. It's supposed to be moldy, cracked gonna have blood stains it's supposed to be darker in some fashion the hair looks a little bit worn but here's my question does he still have the blackest eyes or are we going back to halloween h2o style which i i know they're not doing that just joking so with the whole idea of the mask looking a little bit more dated and worn i think that kind of erases my my uh con 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 my dedication or convincing of the fact that they will actually have an opening brawl in the kitchen of the Myers house but again that could still happen uh maybe there was just brief footage shown before the kitchen brawl of his of him and his new mask for whatever reason and everybody that saw it at CinemaCon only highlighted the of course majority of what was shown which is an epic brawl between Michael and Lori in a kitchen setting somewhere where she apparently got the upper hand but knowing that Michael will have just this mask that's be pretty much the same with some new additions that's expected because i would have been more bothered if he came out of this these last two movies went out of his way to go away for four years say hey guys i got a new mask and does this also then mean that he won't be going to smith's grove or if he does go to smith's grove and he escapes once again how is he going to get his mask back i think this is just things to think about when hearing these supposed descriptions of what his mask will look like so if from what was shown at CinemaCon, if his mask has these dried up blood stains on it and it looks a little bit more worn i'm thinking that either one of course he he didn't go back to smith's grove or if he did the mask has been sitting around somewhere because of the fact that no one's using it well not to say that it wouldn't have the same effect from him just wearing it all day because he he doesn't take care of himself in a in a hygiene manner anyway so so that same thing still could happen if he was just walking around with it i'm just curious how much this could lend to us now starting to think about the idea of him being caught again at the end of halloween kills or him just being out there disappearing for the past four years all we know is that there's going to be a four-year time jump there's been no real explanation on where michael has been because michael could indeed be revealed to have been in smith's grove or they could take the h2o approach where we find out he's just been out there for several years i mean four is better than 20 with no word and nobody knowing where he is and then showing up looking like he took a shower the last couple of years at how how, how clean this man looked in h2o for some reason that's something that just starts to starts to bug me but that's just like a minor thing it's not really even that important but it's just like a minor thing when i watch that movie it starts to bother me i'm like who was bait how is he staying this clean because he looks good <laughs> but we'll see how the mask ends up looking when the footage is revealed for us online in the trailer when it releases but as far as like this baxter family scenario i want to talk about really quick 
I know there's some missing person named Megan Baxter. That's the other thing that lends us to the idea of the fact that he did not go back to Smith's Grove. He was just out there still killing people. Or is Megan Baxter missing not relevant to Michael and it's something else that's just going to be a big plot where her relatives think that Michael has something to do with it, but Michael didn't have anything to do with it. And then as a result, if they get involved, they end up getting killed for fingering the wrong person who at that point is going to just take them out because they're going to try to hunt him down when he's when he's announced to be back in Haddonfield. They could have been spending who knows how many years searching for Michael. And again, I, I don't think we'll actually know where Michael was. A lot of people I know are going to the cave dweller working title that oh he was hiding in a cave for the past four years but i've also seen people say that cave dweller could be something that maybe isn't talking about michael it's talking about someone else who is dealing with trauma from the events of halloween and halloween kills like uh like Allison would be because of what happened to her mother, what happened to her father, what happened to some of her friends, what happened to her ex-boyfriend, you know, so she could be the person that for whatever reason is dwelling in a cave for ways to cope with what happened or someone else is a cave dweller or a cave dweller might not have any real importance to the overall film because working titles in previous movies, many working titles ended up amounting to nothing. For those of you who watch my screen, screen videos, what did Parkside Alpha mean? It meant nothing. Um, we do know that the working title for Scream 6 is Blackmore though, so maybe that means something for Scream 6. But as far as like the Baxter family dynamic and how they are gonna be factored in, I'm curious to find out if that billboard that was shown on set will actually amount to anything of importance or if it's just something that's there in the background uh, and that won't be addressed. It'll just be a way for us to kind of draw conclusions based off of the events that unfold to say that, yep, that was Michael that did that. Because based off of what we learn going into the movie, we'll I think we'll have an understanding of where not where michael was but just of course if he was caught or if he was just out roaming i don't know what you guys would prefer would you prefer he got caught again or would you prefer he's just out there roaming the streets for four years and we learned that he's been up to no good still i think people could get behind that a little bit more than oh he got caught and now he's escaping smith's grove again so oh, here we go <laughs> but still to some degree something about that just sounds more better than him just being out there for four years and then us expecting him to be taking care of himself knowing he's in smith's grove of course people are going to take care of him but i don't have any faith in michael to actually take care of himself but <laughs> let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video